guys, just before this video start, I thought I'd come in and let you guys know this video is a little bit shorter than I thought. And so it's going to be short, but the next video will be its normal length. But I hope you guys enjoy it anyways, and let's get into the video. All right, guys, so I am back with episode 10 of my Drifter Challenge, and good morning. It is, it is 11 20 a.m. and currently the only person awake is Sonia who looks like she's had a good sleep but she's going to go ahead and grab some breakfast. What are you eating for breakfast? Sonia is eating honey banana toast so that's cool and then we have Aiden and Adia sleeping very very cuddly and then Noah and Nelly are over here asleep as well but they I am gonna take them to the water park today so what I'm gonna do is actually have Aiden get up and make something so that we can take to the water park what is wrong with you Aiden your midlife crisis and all of this stuff sir I do not have time for you to have a midlife crisis okay why don't we go ahead and come and make a three cheese pizza I am so buying you a moodlet potion because I am not in the mood for you and your midlife crisis the way he just slammed that fridge man i get it that you're so annoyed Wh what does it say aiden has an intense desire for more social connection in life on the plus side all positive social interactions will make extra boost during the during this crisis take a look at midlife crisis section in the aspiration panel for more information and then he needs amusement of course because it is low fun we will get to that and we will get to that and by get to it i mean you will take a move because it's literally been you have four hours left before you are no longer it's sad that you lost your father but we we're going to the water park today just so we can hang out with azalea some more and apparently nelly is a heavy sleeper okay how is there a heavy sleeper yet she's awake I guess she's done. Sonya's going to go play with Nelly, I think. That's so cute. Sonya loves Nelly so much. I think Sonya and Nelly will definitely get along more than Sonya and Noah because we do see that her relationship with Nelly is super, like, it's definitely better than Noah. Like, look at that. Let's go ahead and head back to Aiden, who was still cooking the three cheese pizza that they are taking out on their trip today so i'm going to go ahead and actually put that in his inventory and i'm going to take out some foods that i just don't want in here all right so we're going to go ahead and head to the water park and guys i will see you guys there all right guys so we are here at the water park and i'm having everybody grab a meal because they are definitely all hungry so go ahead and everybody grab a slice of cheese pizza where are you going, Noah? Did you actually grab, grab some pizza? Okay, he did grab some pizza. That's super sweet. Didn't even see you grab it so quickly. And why couldn't you just sit here like your little sister was? I love how Sonya and Azalea are definitely out here talking to each other, eating. But I also do want to take a look at the calendar. So tomorrow, Sunday, is Sonya's birthday. She will officially be a teenager. And then on Wednesday, well, Thursday, we have the twins' birthday and they will be children. I'm super excited for that. Ma'am, I love how she's like over here flirting. Who are you? Elsa Calson. I love how she she's over here flirting with Aiden, but Aiden is like just not... He's like, I'm not taking any of this. None. What happened from contemplating life? He's lost some connections and then shared sadness. I had you literally take a Moodler potion and this is how you feel now. Nope, I do not want you doing that. So we're going to leave. We're going to leave Noah to himself just to do some stuff. Maybe his mom will actually take him somewhere. But we're going to go ahead and put Nelly in the small kitty pool because I want to see Nelly in the small pool. And I believe Nelly's the one who actually loves water. <laughs> Yeah, loves water. So let's go ahead and put our lovely child in the water because she does love it. You are not doing flashcards with her at this time. Excuse me. I love how Adia brought Noah over here. So let's, you're looking for a TV. You were not going to find one, ma'am. Here we have Nelly getting into the pool. It's so sweet. This is so cute. Aw, look at them. Aiden and Nelly are definitely enjoying their time in the water. Aiden, who was back in his everyday outfit, even though I told him to get in his swimwear. Aiden is finally in his swimwear and he's still playing with Nelly. I don't know if they can hold a toddler and go into the pool with them, but we shall find out. But while Aiden and Nelly are playing over here, let's go and check on the others. Adia has finally found the bathroom and he's using it. Noah is also using the potty. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's super cute. Go ahead, Noah. Use the potty by yourself, sir. 
I am super proud of you. Sonia, where are you? You were getting in line for the water slide. Okay, we're gonna get back to Aiden then. Nelly, we do not know what is in that pool. You are dipping that duck in there and then putting it straight in your mouth. Aiden, you're not gonna say anything to her? All right, all right. I love this lady who decides she's definitely going to wear her sandals while also being in the pool. Yeah, I definitely love it. Adia is finally getting in line for the pool and it seems she also needs amusement. So that's good that at least she's getting in line. Did Sonya go on there yet? Oh, it's up there, I see. So they have to keep going up like this and then keep coming this way. That's super cool. And it seems Aiden and Nelly are done. Aiden, why don't you go ahead and also let Noah enjoy some of the water? I love how you just jumped in, but I want you to go get Noah. Go get Noah. Come on, Aiden. It's not fair that Nelly gets to be in the water, but Noah doesn't. Oh my gosh. Is that Eliza Pancakes? I believe it is. Yes, it is. And she's pregnant. Is it? I'm nosy, so I must know. Okay, she's having one male and it is Bob Pancakes, baby. Well, at least they're finally doing it. And here we have Noah. Um, Nelly, who is the stranger you're talking to? I believe this is Liberty. Yes, it is Liberty. I love how Nelly's just speaking to Liberty like she knows them, but no, we don't. And also, Liberty married Paka. Like, the baby she's having is with Paka. I'm sorry, not Paka. Her spouse is with Paka, but she's not having a baby. But they do have one child, so okay. But I'm at least happy that Aiden is finally getting to play with the air. Look at our two airs playing together. Super cute. Noah, don't, don't have the same issue that I had with Nelly. We don't know where that duck has been. We don't know what people have done in that pool. Don't be sticking it in your mouth. Disgusting. So while all that's happening, Nelly actually went back to the table and got more food because she was very hungry. So I'm happy she got more food. I don't know if we have any more. We actually have one more slice. And I don't know if Noah will go get that after he's done, but we shall see. But it is starting to get late. It is 9 p.m. So after Aiden and Noah are done, I think I'm going to go ahead and take everybody home. So I will see you guys when they get home. All right, guys. So currently right now it is 11 p.m. And everybody is back from the pool. And the kids are probably going to go to sleep right away. But I wanted to go ahead and make some chicken and call everybody to a meal just so everybody can eat something. So Aiden has currently right now called everybody to come and eat some of the chicken stir fry. The only problem is the kids are actually asleep as we can see but they are very hungry so Aiden's gonna go wake them up after he's done and because Aiden did go ahead and do a call to meal I am so happy that whenever we do that sometimes it depends it's like a 50 50 chance between if the kids will go and get their food or not but I'm happy at least that with this time it worked and they are coming to get their food my dear child you have not done any of the stuff I want you to do Aiden can you go ahead and tell Sonia to actually go and pee because she does not she like she's not peeing this is the one thing that makes me a little bit upset about the drifter challenge because my sims won't take care of their needs but at least the twins are finally eating some food all right so sonia has finished what she is doing so i'm going to have aiden go ahead and actually influence her to go and take a shower as well and then i just need to find nelly to figure out where she's going well, it says right now that she's heading to sleep so i'm happy with that nelly and then it seems her brother's also going to sleep I'm super happy, or at least Adia's putting them to sleep. I'm waiting for Aiden to put Sonya to sleep after she's done taking a shower, but it looks like it's going to take a bit. I'm actually having Aiden wake up Nelly because Nelly stinks, and I do want Nelly to go ahead and take a shower. Currently right now, Aiden is grabbing Nelly so that Nelly can go and take a shower because she is one stinky, stinky girl. After the shower, Aiden is finally putting Nelly to sleep. I love how Aiden's still in his swimwear. But I'm going to go ahead and have Aiden wake up Sonia as well so that we can put her to sleep. Aiden has finally put Sonia to sleep and now it is his turn to go to sleep. So I will see you guys when they wake up. Later. All right, guys. So currently right now it is 11 a.m. and Adia is the only one awake. I just want to make sure her tampon is not what she needs. 
So her tampon is not what she needs. So she is going to handle herself on her own. Good morning, guys. It is 11 a.m. and Aiden has just woken up. I'm actually gonna have him make some lunch for the kids. Maybe we'll do some mac and cheese and fried chicken just so we have something ready for the kids when they wake up. Aiden is due to start work in an hour, not today. Apparently, yes, he is. Apparently he's going to work today, even though I don't want him going to work today. And as we remember from last time, Aiden still does have a workplace rival, which is Octavia Bailey. So we still definitely do have to get uh, take care of Oct. We still have to take care of Octavia. So I think what better way than to do we do we have a relationship with her? Okay, so we do. Let's. So while Aiden's making lunch, he's actually gone ahead and invited Octavia over. Go ahead and attempt an introduction. She's a star, so we can't technically make an introduction to her. And that's what annoys me. How in the world is Octavia our enemy? Like seriously, like our workplace rivalry. But I'm going to go ahead and see if we can make an introduction to her. Aiden's someone that is not confrontational, but for all we know, he might have to be confrontational with this time. All right, so Aiden and Octavia are finally talking and they are making an introduction. The real question is how's Aiden going to take this? I'm going to go ahead and add her to a group with each other. And why don't we go ahead and have some lunch and see how well this will go. Let's go ahead and just call everybody to a meal. Azalea, I know you're here. You know what? It's okay. You can come have a meal too. Octavia, come come eat some food. There we go. And apparently you're just going to instead read a book. That's fine. So currently right now, while Aiden is still trying to befriend his enemy, we have the kids here and everyone's basically doing their own thing. Sonia's talking to her mom. Noah is over here trying to get on a good side of Octavia, but I don't know if it's working out so much. But if this doesn't work, I think Aiden's gonna have to take the second approach of I'm going to fight her. Aiden's basically right now describing a new idea to her and she's saying, what if maybe we work together instead of being workplace rivals? And I don't think Octavia likes that idea. Aiden, I think we're gonna have to go south with this. I really do think we might have to argue about this. Because my dude, you everything you try is just not working. So let's let's take the other approach to this. I'm gonna fight her. Yep, that's right, Aiden. I'm gonna fight her. Why are you arguing about the music? This is your house, but whatever. We'll argue about her parenting skills. How dare she come here and tell us how to run our parenting skills just because our kids are everywhere. It's a weekend, ma'am, okay? So I've tried being nice to you, and now I'm going to do the opposite because I am so done with you. Aiden, you can make a better point when you're standing, good sir. Trust me. Better points are made standing, not sitting. I'm at least happy Nelly is finally awake to come and grab some of this food. But Aiden, make a better point, sir. Fight, Aiden, fight. Aiden is basically taking Octavia out here because he says we should not do this in front of the kids. The kids are too young for this. So he wants to do this outside and basically beat her up. We're first going to argue about that she's doing such a bad job at the work and she needs to get out of our way. So go ahead and we're going to finally fight her and we're going to see if this will help us finally get our promotion that we need. There we go. I hope Aiden wins, but I don't know if he will. Aiden's fitness is at a level four, but I think Octavia works out also, so I don't know how well that's gonna go. Aiden and Octavia now despise each other. Well, that's great, but I want her to get out of my way. So Aiden has finally taken care of Octavia and he has told her to basically get off my lawn. I no longer want to see you ever again. And so at work, they are basically enemies now and Aiden's gonna do anything in his power to sabotage her. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But I think guys, I'm gonna end it right here. And I hope you guys enjoy this episode so much that you consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. Love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye guys. With every moment I lost myself in passion, I still taught myself a lesson to be or not to be free, contemplating what it means to breathe.